boy has developed a strange sense of humor. Be aware. Marty? Yes, indeed. I'm the doctor's monster. What he means is... Of course. He is the one who programmed monster. Matty arrived just in time. We'll be getting a satellite connection to the ferroglider any time now. If you'd like to follow me. Doctor, I understand that monster has gained the player's trust. The radio broadcasts seem to indicate that. So far, the Ferroglider has had no encounter with the Grace or any other forces of the government. But of course, this is only a matter of time. The player is now 100 miles west of the starting point, 1,100 miles from end of the line. Traveling at an average of 55 miles per hour, she should reach us in about... She? The player is a girl, an American named Gus. Hmm, I like that. A girl with a boy's name. Do I detect sympathy, Maddie? Doctor, you misinterpret me once again. May I try it? Do you want me to show you how it works? No, thank you. I think I know how. Remember, Maddie not only programmed Monster, he also developed the game. Doctor, don't you want to see what I'm going to make Monster do? Or maybe you have something more important to take care of. Don't worry. You are the most important thing, Maddie. I want Monster to get an even better score than he got last time. Sure you will. That's 
After all these failures, my success probability is over average. self-destruct. Attention. Emergency. You have exactly 10 seconds to evacuate. Monster, stop kidding around. I need to know where we are. Okay, but give me a couple of seconds. Like someone's interfering with my programs, messing up my circuits, causing my bits to be flipping when they should be flopping, huh? You know what I mean? Monster, I need to know where we are. Got it. I'm receiving a town on the radar. If you want, I can drive while you figure out how we're gonna get to the end of the line, okay? All right. But slowly. Do I have to? Understand. Monster understands. What you want, 10% margin of risk? 5%. Just enough to maintain our pace. Gosh, baby, running around in a street gang sure made you crazy. baby the grades want us to fall into a trap which don't take no einstein to figure out you dig me Enlargement on C3. C3? Oh, the map. And I also want some data on the truck in A2. Data, data, data. How much time will it take him to reach the crossroad and get back to the intersection? Oh, somewhere between 45 and 46 seconds, if he ain't retarded. If he stops to take a leak, about a minute. If he's lost, now that's another story. We'll take the parallel street on the right. Possibility. There's about 100 yards between the houses. Correct, but... No major obstacles. We have about 15 feet between the walls. Mm -hmm. If we cut straight across, we might kill a couple chickens, but otherwise we should be okay. That is precisely what I was going to propose to you. We may have to kill a few chickens on the way, but we'll be okay. <laughs> This ain't no joke. The Greys are closing in on us. Guts, baby, you didn't put those goggles on for cruising, and the Greys aren't blocking that intersection for I know, nothing. Monster, I know. Doctor, how do you like the game so far? Not bad. Well, I guess you could safely say we killed a few chickens, huh? Any other truck stop at the intersection? The other truck? 
I suppose he be attempting to make it to the next street before we do. Don't like that look in your eyes. We're not going to take the main road. Lord, why do I always get the crazy ones? We're going to jump over it. Lord, what did monster do wrong? Lord, please forgive this crazy woman. She don't know what she's doing! The devil made it! Well done, monster. Thank you, Lord. As you see, the player can easily outwit the government forces when Monster is programmed to help. Remarkable. Most remarkable. Well, the game's not over yet. Change the record? Man, it's a tape, not a record. I heard it over the radio and stored it in my memory because I like it. Yes, but you've played it five times in a row. Four times, because it's soothing. It restores my spirits. I don't understand any of it. So who's counting, babe? Monster Coolant. Would you like me to teach it to you? Nah, 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 No, nah. no, thank you. Nine. I get the point. I shut... My mouth. All right. All right, what? Stop sulking. I'm not sulking. Well, maybe just a little. But you would, too, if someone questioned your sensitivity. Monster? Monster, what's going on? You mean those images? Yes, I mean those images. Maybe a big evil presence lurking nearby, or short circuit. Perhaps it's because of the crash at the gas pump. A detour. A detour? Impossible. I don't know anything about it. A detour. Out of nowhere. What do we do? Can we take it? Affirmative. Negative. There's no time. Monster, what's that dark line? Could be that big evil presence. More likely a trench, though. At 65, we ought to make it. Ought to? Images interfered with Monster's radar. She made it, nevertheless. But why didn't she listen to Monster? She must have estimated that she could play it. That she could get through. And she was right. Wow! I think I've upset the doctor. I don't think he likes my sense of humor. This is not what we were striving for. I know. But don't you agree it's an interesting side effect? The sense of humor of his? And, sir, you have to remember this is only a game of Maddie's. A game to demonstrate that he can outwit the forces of the government. You shouldn't be suspicious of the boy. Don't try to avoid the issue. By continually emphasizing your guinea pig's intelligence. Believe me, sir, I'm not. His cleverness is further evidence of your failure. On the other hand, I have no choice but to rely on you and your experiments. My own have been a failure. A dismal failure. Doctor, I'm counting on you and your guinea pig. Don't let me down. Do you understand? Yes, sir. For our immediate purposes, we'll 
need at least 10 or 20 Matis in order to begin. And this time, make sure they have none of those disgustingly human characteristics. They're so unpredictable. As far as intelligence is concerned, it's nothing but a waste of neurons. Do I make myself clear? There is nothing to worry about, sir. Matty is under my complete control. you not to play the game in that zone. Doctor, this isn't my fault. Gus isn't listening to Monster's advice. There's nothing I can do. She decided against taking the detour. I'll go and talk to them or try. They don't look like a talkative type. I don't see any other solution. We could make a run for it. I wish we could. All right, I'll keep your seat warm. That's right, stick your head in the sand, you old junk heap. All right, sweetheart, let me move your ass out of there. Oh, woo, woo. Go ahead, skinny, kick your ass, man. Go ahead. Beat the shit out of that boy, man. She's a hard ass bitch. Hey, do it. Hurry up, Princess. We haven't got all day. That's it. Good girl. Now, Princess, get over there and get me some matches. Oh. Oh, shit. American. Oh. Oh. Who are you? Someone about ten feet away from you. It's my luck to share a cell with a first-class jerk. truck is yeah they towed it into the courtyard oh really searched it seems like it's a very fancy rig yeah it's fancy how do you know news travels very fast here very fast Save them. <sighs> Girls shouldn't play with matches. I think you're trying to upset. 
upset me. Choose the light between the burning and the light. Monster the Gus, do you read me? I'm picking up your life signs, but I can't locate you. Please answer me if you read me. Stop playing with those matches. You don't scare me. You know what happens when you play tough? Huh, do you? This is what happens when you play tough. I don't believe you. You're lying. Stop it. Present from the military. Because I didn't like what they were doing. Believe it or not, I don't like people who mistreat others. You're the best looking truck driver I've ever seen. Stump, you're a free man. You. Stump, get your ass up. Come with me. Before the Major changes his mind. Come on, little lady. The Major wants to ask you a few questions. Gus, just tell him what he wants to know. Get your hands off of me. I don't even know what Come I'm on. doing here. Stump! Come on, asshole. Everything will be okay. Lay a finger on us and we'll smash your other hand to pieces. What are you doing? No, Take don't. your hands off her! Don't stump your free man. Don't upset As long as the little lady tells the Major what he wants to know. The Major is a reasonable man, trust me. The last time you said that, I ended up here in jail. to meet you. I'm delighted to meet you too, Major. There seems to have been some sort of misunderstanding. Perhaps. Your authorities promised me that their game would never be held on our territory. So what are you doing here? On top of that, the government forbids any form of game playing whatsoever. you decided to come anyway. It was all a mistake. That is too bad for you. Mistakes can cost one dearly. And by the way, we found a box in your truck. Do you know what it is? I have no idea. Shall we have a look at it together? Look, I'm just a player in this game. Funny. Very funny. <laughs> you people from rich countries really know how to have a good time. You're just... Big kids. <laughs> Come over here! Over here, Stump! You cover! He comes! He comes! Sit down, huh? Sit, Stump, sit. I think you made your mistake on purpose. And I've made up my mind to find out why you've done so. You and those scientists are trying to overthrow the government, aren't you? You're out of your mind. I don't think so. You're completely insane. Insane? I know what those so-called scientists are up to. They're trying to create a race of robots, aren't they? Aren't they? and get rid of all of us. Your silence 
does you no good because we have ways of making you talk. Get me? Yeah, <laughs> I've told you, I'm only a player in this game. I have no idea what you're talking about. What are you doing here? And don't try to tell me it was all a mistake. <sighs> Boys, our little visitor has a memory problem. Maybe you can Completely. help her out. Insane. <laughs> Major said she was supposed to win her weight in gold if she reaches someplace called the end of the line. Ah, I was thinking, isn't it funny? She's just lost a couple pounds of gold. Hmm, look at Princess just standing there. You know, how to, how to write. Yes. Find Stump. Don't let him leave. Stop him. Stump has to replace me in the game. He has to reach the end of the line. And Marty... has to replace me in the game. He has to reach the end of the line. And Marty. <laughs> ah, good old stop. Good night, stop. <laughs> Between the burning and the light. Choose the light. signs have disappeared from my radar. I sense that something terrible has happened to Gus. What do you want me to do? Maintain your position. We will continue trying to locate Gus from here. I fear our efforts will be futile, but I don't want to give up yet. Roger. We'll sit and wait for further orders. And a driver. Hold it. My heat sensors tell me someone is approaching. It's not Gus. It's... Who is it, monster? Unable to determine. But it's definitely positive. It's a, a... A young girl. Young girl? Uh, negative, negative. Monster, what's going on? Losing radio contact. Signing off. Hello there. Princess. You are a princess, aren't you?
monster. Everyone calls me monster. I've been waiting for you, driver. What took you so long to get here? I'm not your driver. You know the password, and I feel that Gus has been, how you say, deactivated permanently. See, I've got it all worked out. You know, a low-risk escape ploy. Through the iron gates in front of us, it's 90 feet. We'll be there in five seconds, but we won't be able to break through. So if you could get your butt over the wall and open the gates, we'd be grooving. Right. I'll come back tomorrow morning. Wait! We're in luck. Someone's approaching. Look at the computer map. See the two jeeps? In 30 seconds, more or less, the jeeps are gonna be here. What do you say? I'm waiting. I don't even know where the ignition is. I'm your ignition. And your high beams and your radio and everything else you might need along the way. Well, almost everything. Offering a reward to whoever brings that truck back. Uh, what kind of reward? And in your case, a very little one! You see, I was programmed by this kid called Matty, who was created by this scientist called Doctor, who worked for this guy called Sir. Got it? Earth to stomp. Lights on, nobody at home, huh? Doctor, have you noticed how quiet it always is around here? Everyone acts like zombies. What's wrong? It's no longer our driver in the ferroglider. I've already guessed that some time ago. Have you any news of Gus? The new driver is an emigrant. Jailbird. A jailbird? A real troublemaker. Likes to start fights. He goes by the name of Stump. He wears a metal glove on one of his hands. The report doesn't say why he wears it. Only that's somehow related to an incident he had a couple of months ago. He tried to stop a group of soldiers who were torturing some peasants. Sounds like a very admirable man. Just because he despises the government as much as we do doesn't make him admirable. Remember, he's stolen our ferroglider. He didn't steal the ferroglider. He's bringing it back to end of the line. If Monster let him aboard, then he's all right. Don't you trust Monster's judgment? Then Maddie developed this game. A player is dropped off with me in the middle of nowhere and has to make his attention. What is it? Wooden bridge up ahead. Can it handle us? Weight limit, five tons, but we should be okay. Uh-oh. A big evil presence. Now what? Military vehicles in my radar field showing no respect for man, no beast. Not a pretty sight. How many? From where I'm sitting, it looks like one giant pulsating stick my finger in my throat and gag me with a spoon blur from hell. like it's about to fall apart. What kind of equipment you got in here? A laser, a chainsaw, a winch. We gotta coordinate our moves. How am I supposed to hear you when I'm out there? Where is it? Where's what? The winch, where is it? In the rear. What part of the rear? There's the door, just open it. How far off are they? 2.3 miles. Probable time to encounter, 5 minutes, 20 seconds. Two point one five miles. Probable time to encounter, 4 minutes, 45 seconds. 1.95 miles. Probable time to encounter, 4 minutes, 20 seconds. 
1.55 miles. Probable time to encounter, 3 minutes, 30 seconds. Point one five miles. Probable time to encounter two minutes forty seconds. Point nine five miles. Probable time to encounter two minutes fifteen seconds. One minute fifty seconds. Point five five miles. Probable time to encounter one minute. 25 seconds. Hey, how the hell do you kill the lights? 0.15 miles. Probable time to encounter 30 seconds. Shut up. You're getting on my nerves. Bye-bye, Major. Gus sends her love. Stump, you got anything against my talking now? Go ahead, monster. Blab away. What the hell's she doing here? If you hadn't made me shut up, I would have had time to tell you about her. Her name is Princess. She's a stowaway. What next? Look, I didn't want to bring her along, but she said we were her only hope. She didn't want to be a slave for the rest of her life. I know it might not have been a wise thing to do, but what can I say? I did it. What if the soldiers had caught her? What if we had smashed up the truck? But we didn't smash up the truck, and we weren't caught. Stomp, buddy. Have a little sympathy. Our little stowaway's been abandoned, rejected, treated like you know what. In other words, she's been through nothing short of hell in her brief little lifetime. Not too long ago, she escaped from a psychopath who was gonna turn her into fertilizer. Seems that she was a reject in some kind of research project. Unfortunately, she escaped into the arms of those soldiers back there. Yet, how did he find out? It was only a matter of time before Maddie discovered he wasn't the first of your experiments. In a sense, you could say that Maddie and Princess are brother and sister, since they came from the same genetic material. Maybe Maddie doesn't know. Maybe it's an accident that she is on board the Ferroglider. Doctor, I'm beginning to feel that you're much too naive for your own good and for mine. I'm beginning to think you and I should part company. As far as I'm concerned, your little guinea pig can no longer be trusted. I told you so. <laughs> Wake up, little brother. Come on, my little psychopath. Sir, need your help once again. I was afraid you forgot me. Oh man, it's about time. Where'd you get that popcorn anyway? It's monsters. Would you like some? No. It's raspberry flavored, completely organic, low in cholesterol, high in polyunsaturates, puts hay on your chest. I'd rather have some coffee. For you, stump anything.
You know it's bad for you. Causes heart disease, stunts your growth, not to mention making you high and strung, and even more irritable. But what the hell is your life? <laughs> pretty fancy. Speaking of pretty, this next stretch of road is pretty boring. I'll drive if you want to chat with Princess. The servo control term for my memory is the word ought to. As in, I ought to be nicer, I ought to take a bath, I ought not to smell so bad. Auto. Hmm, not bad for a beginner. Now settle back and get to know our passenger. She looks like a little kid, but she's much smarter than you might think. Uh-oh, spoke too soon again. How do you do it? Follow the road, I mean. It's very simple. I stocked it in my memory during a preliminary run with a much less conspicuous truck. As usual, Maddie has thought of everything. Even the raspberry flavored popcorn, huh? <laughs> yeah. Who's Matty? Good guy or bad guy? He designed me. He programmed me. He's a genius. I'm certain you and Matty will get along just fine when we reach end of the line. Where is that end of the line? West. Very far west. That's all I know. Do we have some sort of mission? I told you to get back to the end of the, the line. The end of the line, I know. Is that all? On the whole, yes. You sound like you're lying to me, monster. I have a feeling Stump will drop out of the game. Not when he finds out about the gold waiting for him. What did you say you had in your truck? Meat. Just meat. Uh-huh. I'm going to let you through. We don't want it to spoil. Sir, just leaving the border. We'll wait on the other side for the Ferro Glider. Make sure you don't miss it. Man, why do you want to know everything? Maddie says knowledge destroys spontaneity. Matty also says that game-playing will increase the level of your intelligence. Why do you need to ask so many questions? Attention! Emergency! Attention! Slam on the brakes! I repeat, slam on the brakes! Why? There's some kind of military encampment up ahead. I can't discern the vehicles, but they're too cumbersome and heavy to be grazed. Here, look. They may not try to stop us, but I don't want to take the chance. If we take the road that overlooks the valley, we might get through without much difficulty. Won't they see us? No, going up is no problem. We'll be hidden by the mountains. Coming down's tricky. There are no natural obstacles to hide us from them. And their camp's only two miles away. I'm thinking. Hmm, an interesting concept. A man with one hand bites his nails in order to think. Do you have to? Yes, don't you? Monster, what's going on? Monster, this is no time to be fooling around. What the hell is happening? Come on, let's go. Follow it! I 
I can't figure out what's happening to my systems. That's the second malfunction. First time with Gus. On the detour. Just ahead of the trench. Look, I want to know how much of a lead we've got every minute. Yes, but... No, Muddy, just... we have to face facts. Monster's no longer reliable. He's erratic. Not really. He made a few mistakes, that's all. A few mistakes? To err is human. None of this happened when we were testing him. Yes, but I made a few improvements in his program. Of course, there is an element of risk. But when you play games, you have to gamble. Otherwise, it's no fun. What the hell is that mess? One or two trucks waiting for customs to open at seven. One or two trucks? There must be over a hundred. What about those on the sides? How do I know? Probably military. Okay, you big know-it-all. Figure out how much space there is between the two lanes of trucks. An average of 10 feet, 6 inches. Give or take a bumper or two. And how wide are we? Our maximum width is about 10 feet, 9 inches. Oh, so stuff's considering to drive down the middle. Now that's an interesting concept. It's not. Then why consider it? Because it's the only one. I would have preferred if you'd ask me. Yes, but I wanted to surprise you. You so like to experience. Don't leave now. The border's coming up. Hang on. It's going to get a little bit noisy. Soldiers are still on our tail. Oh yeah, it's about time. What took them so long? were jamming monster or we were passing a high intensity magnetic field. Bizarre. I gave you permission to test Matty. I appreciate that, sir. But unfortunately, Matty is turning out to be just like his sister. I'm taking action to stop this game of his. Of course. Sky says traffic conditions. I can see morning. what traffic is like. Just give me our coordinates. And don't you have anything else but popcorn to eat? The reference point for this stretch is North C10. I have toasted ham and cheese sandwiches. Ham and cheese it is. And make it snappy. One ham and cheese coming up. Double the order. Man, you seem tense, nerves on edge like you drink too much coffee. I'm just fine. No, you're not, pal. I hate to break the news to you, but you need more sleep. Put the automatic pilot on and nod out. No way. I don't trust you a bit, machine. Stick that into your memory. You shall take a nap. Seems like everyone's getting very irritable.
I don't believe your microchips disintegrated. I think your breakdown was intentional. You're the one who missed that detour you keep talking about. No, it wasn't me. Not Gus. You got it all wrong. That's how the soldiers got it. Look, listen. Isn't it? Okay, I'll try to explain, but you better pull over. I want to know what happened. Well, I think I have part of the answer, but nothing certain. Part of an answer is better than none at all. According to the black box, the malfunctions seem to have a couple of factors in common. A lot of what you could call job-related stress and an inordinate amount of emotional overload. Stress? Yeah. Emotional overload? You? What's so funny about that? You think only jailbirds have emotional overload? It's only a machine, understand? Only a machine? A junk heap. Well, sticks and stones. Doesn't maybe. think. I do so think. Doesn't have feelings. Well, I don't know. Maybe I don't have feelings. Just pretends to. So that's what you think? Yes. You really think I don't have feelings? And the craziest part is I'm sitting here talking to you like a stupid idiot. The way I figure it, Stump, you're getting upset because you have no self-esteem. Because you really like me deep down. I like you too, Stump. Cut the bullshit. What's bullshit? Yes? Marty is asking for you. He says it's urgent. Yes? Doctor, I have a feeling that there's a truck following monster. It appears and then it disappears. I don't understand. Just like that, I stare for a few seconds and then... Ah. Is it a fleeting image? It does it flicker on and off? Yes. Probably an echo. A little like a mirage. That's all it could be. A diffraction effect of the laser beam in the highest strata of the upper atmosphere. Diffraction?
why did he have to go into that garage? Why? To fix the truck. Or monster. It's the only explanation. I'd like to be straightforward with you, but it's not in my nature, you know what I mean? I'm more the strong, silent Who type. Who does he think he's fooling? As you can see, I'm nothing but a ball of silicon. Millions of strands wrapped round and round forever. It's hard retrieving certain types of information. I think you better stop before you do something you'll regret. Tell me about end of the line. I told you, it's west, very far west. Stop stalling and level with me if you want to keep your driver. Maddie and Princess are brother and sister. What a bunch of bullshit. Princess, go get the headsets. We're gonna need some visual support. You see, Princess and Maddie are prototypes of super intelligent people. People to rule the world after Sir overthrows the government. Monster has just entered the industrial zone. If we leak information on his location to the government, they'll surely send some of the Greys after him. But Princess turned out to be too human, so Sir wanted to get rid of her. She escaped and ended up as a slave in the Major's camp. Princess, think of your brother. The most important things. The laboratory where it all started. Maddie before he was born. And Doctor who created Maddie. Maddie's brain, designed by a computer. Maddie, the last time Princess saw him. When Princess turned out to be too human, Doctor set about creating a second guinea pig, Maddie. Then Maddie came up with this game in order to prove to Sir that he's cold and ruthless. A driver has to make his way back to Maddie, reach end of the line. In reality, this game of Maddie's is only a scheme to locate Princess and get her back. Stump. I sense you still don't believe me. Do you also think I'm making up these images? That they're not real? You'd think the wounds would get cauterized. They don't. I guess this is the wrong time and the wrong place to fall in love. Is there ever... Really? A right time? A place? Sometimes I wonder if being human is all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> is it really worth it? It's not. But we have no choice. Where's Matty? He's already there. Fine. I'm sorry, Matty. The ferro glider has been delayed. The driver took it upon himself to go into a garage. I have no idea why. But as you can see, the Greys have somehow found out where he is.
you think it's possible for a computer to have feelings and emotions? What the hell for? Sometimes I think I'd be better off as a robot. Feeling nothing. And remembering only what I like. Too big, we'll never find Stump. Don't worry, I have a nearly perfect memory. That's what I'm worried about. How do you do? I'm the state inspector for the Gray Department. We've captured the Pharaoh Glider, so it's useless to try to escape. Normally, that should be the end of it, but... But unfortunately, we've learned that you've been associated with a group you can help us locate. They're what you might call, well, a radical element. Hey, see you guys back at the compound. Why do I always get stuck with that dirty work? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Bing bang! Oh, wrong. Gotcha! Hey, Princess, did you catch that guy playing the harmonica? I can't stand harmonica playing. Monster's going to get the driver. He's going to get him. Aren't you proud of Monster? He's going to rescue Stump. See, there's nothing wrong with Monster. He's not acting erratic at all. Our society cannot tolerate radical elements like you. People who play games end up thinking independently. I can't allow that. One last time. Tell us now what you know about little brother. I have a report to make out. And tell me about those scientists he works for. It's in your own best interest. Where are the scientists located? Well, even if I did know something, I wouldn't tell you. Let's see if you can find something to relax our friend here. He seems a little tense. <laughs> Stumps me in hell. Now all you gotta do is go like this. Piece of cake.
stop you little party animal, you. Come on now, get up here and let's like, you know, bust the hell out of here. <laughs> What are you doing? Prince is stopping. He's going berserk. Oh, that's a good idea, Mark. My God, what are they doing? Now you should really be proud of Monster. Did you see what he just did? Yes, I saw. Nothing can stop him now. I wouldn't be so sure. I know this is kind of personal, but something an old junk heap like myself can't understand. Your memories. Even the worst ones. I get the feeling you want to hang on to them. Why do you ask? Because Maddie's and mine hurt too much. Maddie says they will disappear once he's free of Doctor and reunited with Princess. Sounds like Matty knows what he's talking about. Oh, no. What? Gray's again, closing in, front and rear. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. at us. If we cut across, maybe we'll confuse them. You read my mind. How about an instant replay? They're getting in each other's way. Pity, isn't it? <laughs> Watch it, here comes another little weasel. All right, it's all under control. Good one, stop! <laughs> round and round she goes, where she stops, nobody knows. One left there. No problem. If you say so. Now, if monster just sneaks up, tippy-toe-like, with nobody hearing, and like you know, Run the little weasel on the road! You can reassure little brother that we mean business. No one seems to be following us. We still shouldn't hang around here too long. You're right. I'm picking up something on my radar. We better hit the road. What do you think Master was picking up on his radar? Another little diffraction effect? Stump, I know you think I don't have real feelings, but suppose I learned some. You don't learn feelings. Well, how do you know it's not possible? I learned to think and talk. That's the way it is. The Cat's Electroencephalogram. 
We're seen marching on Red Square. Yellow Peril has reached a record high. At Camabatella, John Bovinza has murdered numerous civilians, including... Yes, no, negative, negative, attention, negative, negative, I repeat, negative, negative, emergency, negative, negative, disintegrate, negative, negative, I repeat, negative, negative, help, negative, negative, help, negative, I repeat, negative, negative, help, negative, negative, negative. I take Stop. over. Stop! What's wrong, monster? I can't see. Why can't you see? What's stopping you? My radar's jammed. <laughs> get out of this humiliating position. Well, don't just sit there. Slip out the door and help me. said it was a game. You want to know the truth? You are a real disappointment. You are as much a failure as those creatures of Sirs. The research project has been temporarily suspended. Evacuate the bunker and wait for further orders. Don't try to contact us. We'll contact you. Doctor, I know that Sir has terminated the project. Marty, we are leaving. I'm staying. Bring him along. Don't take one step closer. If you do, I'll tell the authorities where Sir is. <laughs> As you say, guinea pig, the game is not over yet. My creatures and I are going somewhere the authorities will never find us. Ready, my little failures? Here we go. Thank you. 
there's an opening at the base of that hill. I feel it. I think we've won after all. I guess I should have told Stump about winning his weight in gold. <laughs> you are my only confidant and my only friend. Together we will share everything until the very end. There's no one here. Shares my views or sees the way I can see you. But there's just one thing that you'll understand. You'll have to even up with me at the end of the line. At the end of the line, I bet it. You'll have to eat.